What's up guys? It's Bird back here. And we are jumping back into some Slay the Spire Downfall. Except today we are not going to be downfalling, but we are going to be climbing. Went ahead, um, as recommended, went ahead and installed the Gold Saber mod here. And like I said last time, I think we're going to do a standard run. We have a lot of mods and it's been a long time since we've just done just a simple uh, ironclad or simple pass through some of the other characters. So going into day, let us see. I have to remember like what all ironclad gets to start with and what I should or should not be taking. Honestly, it looks like transform a card. Oh, I was like, I, I went to go scroll down, but we do not need to. Um, transform a card seems like the right move. Oh, the left side. Um, and just keep in mind, Ascension 5, um, everything is more deadly. Normal, normal enemies, elites, and bosses. Elites spawn more often, and we heal us after bosses. So, um, we don't want to get too bashed. Um, but right here, look at this. Question marks, fires, elites. It's going to be a good one. Good path. Um, so I think we'll just go with a simple transform here on a basic strike. Ghostly armor. Not the worst, not the best. Ethereal, good block card overall. Um, wish I would have gotten some damage just because we sacrificed a strike for that. However, that'd be too bad. Okay, ghostly armor here should be very nice. Uh, we'll go with the bash, and then we will try to make an aggressive push this next turn here. Um, well, I mean, we're gonna have to take some damage to get out of this. It seems like. We're not drawing a lot of our defense. Do I, we're going to go ahead and take three here. Or take one plus... So it takes six total. We'll heal up by six. So I think we can sacrifice that. Hope for a little bit more of a defensive turn coming up. Ah, there we go. All the defense in one hand. But that gets us out of it. Pretty handily. Ooh. This is a hard one. Whirlwind. Stellar card. Um, Body Slam is also fun though. This early arm... However, we really don't want to take Body Slam unless we have the Barricade. Um, it does synergize very well with our ghostly armor that we have. But, but Whirlwind, it's just super good, super early on. There's so many good energy relics we can take. So many um, relific, relics that benefit X cost card like um, Chemical X. Good. Um, I'll upgrade it too. Helps us um, on the Sentinel fight, which is one of the ones we probably will end up having here. Ready to play this wheel. Do it. I haven't done this in a long time. Usually we just punch him out. Oh, curse here sucks. Anything I can do about that? No, we gotta take the decay. Yeah. Let's go into the shop here and remove it. Um, let's see what we got here. And we're gonna remove the decay most likely, but anything else worth taking a gander at? Um, Cause we could take some, take a couple of these and say, those lines are very good. Lex also is surprisingly good um, with the uh, um, the whirlwind here. Broken clock. Each each combat start with two. Each combat starts with two player turns and two enemy turns. Interesting. I could see how that could be very beneficial actually. Let's go ahead with the removal here of the decay. I don't really want to take it and then we had 40 not enough for the flex and I do not really want the reckless charge so we'll go on here hello friend poke poke and then we'll end that turn so I hope everyone's day is going pretty well 8 16 24 not enough I'll do um went back to work had some friends over for the weekend um I stayed very very busy there with the vulnerable and then the ghostly armor here um so i didn't get to do a lot of recording or cleaning house has been a mess that's what i've done uh, this little bit after work today um but i really wanted to get in some recording since i missed one um i wanted to make up for that and get it in today so it can come out tomorrow uh let's shrug it off here dual wield while it is good and fun is not as good when we want to play like whirlwind beatdown um so that is kind of my plan here. Uh, go with the Bash and then maybe try to open up with the Whirlwind next turn. Keep the Ghostly Armor here. I like that. Go ahead. Get that vulnerability on the attack. Get them knocked down a little bit. 
it's still gonna be kind of a hard fight here. Um, but we'll go with this. Don't. Okay. Just did not want to draw the whirlwind there. And there it is again. I mean, 24 here, I guess. Bash, though, for the vulnerability could be meaningful. And I could also get a strike in after that. Eight, so that's 14 plus whatever I can get next turn from the vulnerability. I don't think it'd make up for it, though. I don't think it'd be an additional 10 damage unless I draw three strikes or the whirlwind again. There's a chance, though. So let's go ahead and do that and um, see how that works. See if it benefits us. It did not. But we got the bash back. So we could do bash again for four. And then nine. So six. Be pretty good. And then we open it up again for the next turn after that. Still setting up for that whirlwind play. There we go. Ten to thirty damage here. Ooh, I do not really want to take that. Let's go ahead and go to the armor. And then we'll whirlwind here. It's pretty good still. Con strikes. Not great. Um, shrug it off here, maybe. Uh, seven here is better than five. Only ten total, though. I think I'd rather defend once more. Hope for a better hand this kind of turn. And there we go. Bash, strike, does it. That's the best in the world. Happy flower? I'm pretty happy to see. Ooh, thunderclap. Thunderclaps is good. Vulnerability across everything before AoE. Good. Um... It's not additional vulnerability. Just draw two now. And this gives 13. I think the best move is to recall here, honestly. Gives us that kind of additional benefit. Scrap ooze. Ooh. Um, right click to um, retain our whole hand. Not the best, not the worst. Metronome, though, gets strength for playing attacks, which is very good with this um, kind of AoE. Uh, whirlwind build because strength on whirlwind is phenomenal. Uh, make all strikes and defend ethereal. Could be good. Might be bad. I'll do it. Does it hurt? Could be good, could be bad. Alright, um, thunderclap here. And do we go bash just to extend it? Lose two defense and a strike? Not the best, but. We get like a whirlwind, and I also want to like keep upping the metronome here. And do that. We will take damage, so either way we're gonna lose it. Kinda wanna go ahead and play the armor. So we should break even here. Unfortunate. I wanted to. Oh. Um four here is 48, we got it. I was hoping we wouldn't take the damage. Rosewood looped. I was like, that whenever you block damage, exactly. Game one energy next turn. We could probably actually do that a little bit. And Heart of Iron, I don't think I've ever seen a six metallicize, which is a lot over the course of a boss fight. Um, leading finish. Does enemy card stays in your hand cause zero for the turn. Okay. Ooh, whenever you lose HP from a card, game one. I feel like this could be useful later on if we could like facilitate it there's a, and there's a lot of ways to do so i don't think it's right yet i don't think it's quite there you again oh no no gremlin but different game flash and bash eh. there there was the engine there it was um dramatic entrance isn't bad i'd t happily take that don't really want the class and don't want that wound either. Dark Embrace, I don't want that. There's a couple good ones there. We did not correctly facilitate it. I'll go for the, the Sentinels here. Alright, Ghostly Armor. Keep the two, uh, keep the strikes here. And since we take no damage, we keep the strength. Good. Open for a big overarching cleave through with, uh, I was hoping with, um, Whirlwind, but we did not get that here. Thunderclap's still pretty good, though. And then I guess we go for the defense. Or go on to the defensive. And play one more, and then shrug it off, defend. You really want to play shrug it off first, but we lose the advantage of the one strength. Go ahead and try it, though. Okay, two defense here. Um, 
Got lost strike and then defend. There was a chance it would have mattered. But keep a couple of defense in the deck. It's not bad since we are replacing most of our deck with dazes. Um, this is pretty good though. That kills. We want to play the one. Sh Let's play the one strike first. Make sure we keep it in the deck. And we get the extra point strength. Not that it'll matter on this turn. Alright, the Thunderclap kills. Very nice. Healing's good. Um, Headbutt could be argued, but I think we'll go with this. And I think we'll go with the rest here because um, we won't gain any HP really. Well, we won't gain all of our HP. Switching between floors, so it's better to have it than not have it here, I think. Go fast strike. I don't really want to shrug here. Keep the strength high. Destroy here. Ooh, pretty good one. Pretty good. Oh, I don't need the thunderclap here because we have vulnerability already. And this hopefully will, yeah, break them. So, lost a bunch of strikes and defend here, but it is part of the course, I suppose. Um, let me just go ghostly armor, defend, thunderclap. And we'll start building the strength from the back end. For long, this is gonna be the five like the cards we have in our uh, in our hand and available to us. Um, I don't play whirlwind, but I don't think I can. Ghostly armor shrug, thunderclap. Not bad here, and then we'll draw the same like five cards. Yeah, not bad. Uh, no vulnerability here, but we can try to execute that plan. Only downside is we do lose ghostly armor this time. So there could be an argument not to have it because this is our hand now. Um, shrug, no cards to draw. And that's eight. Can't. I mean, I can just hit him, but. Let's go with the, the bash, I suppose. Try to set him up for something bigger. Yeah, we need a, a few more cards in our deck, but this isn't like a bad setup so far. Take six, I suppose. Right. Happy flower here. All right. Do we thunderclap first? I think. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. Also gives us a point of strength, which is pretty significant. Oh, we do not. We do not kill him with that, or knock him down. We were four short. Unfortunate here. Taking twenty. Ugh. Glad I rested. Cause I was thinking not, but. Did end up mattering. Ooh, and I didn't. I miscounted. Should be fine though. Get I frog here. Single thunderclap. We'll do it. All right. Limit break double our strength. Could be good. Increase your strength. I mean, with this, it just we just keep it, right? I assume. Emily's good, but no, I think it's limit break here. Burning Blood, heal 12 every each combat. Uh, red Cat from Reliquary. Return whenever you, you attack a single enemy. Cannot be targeted. No. Not great. Makes it better now. I think we'll just go Black Blood. We do want more energy, but we have a couple, a little bit of, a little bit of energy gain. Oh, that boss is not one I really wanted to preface fighting. He's hard. I don't know if we'll be able to beat him because we're like... All in offense, no defense really. We'll see what we can do. There's a four elite path. I mean, I'm gonna go for it. Is the, the right move. Um, we'll go double shop, I guess, since we have some money. I like that. Maybe we can even fight the shopkeeper. We'll go, actually, we'll go single shop. And see if we can fight the shopkeeper once we get up here. Weird hand. Hmm. Guess that's the, the move here. Because they change intent as we play cards. Alright, so Thunderclap. One strength. Strike this one. 33 damage here. Well, I really wanted to play Limit Break, but I don't think I can anymore. And they're still doing 15. Rude, if I ever did say so. <clears throat> okay, Whirlwind's not bad. I really wanted to keep our strength, but... It's unfortunate. I think we'll roll the dice here. Eight's not terrible. 
Right. Yeah, we need to upgrade the limit break to make it, because right now it exhausts. Clap. We'll go ahead and for the limit break here. Oh, it does not work the way you would think. Because it counts as playing a non-attack. So it resets it before you actually get the strength. Very... I mean, it makes sense for the, the flavor of the card, but... Oh, we're taking a ton of damage here. Ouch. I don't have a good way to fight around these dice. I mean, vulnerability here. I go. Whirlwind, 9 for 2 is 18 now. Armor here. Strike. I don't regret it. Could have been worse. Oh, here we go. Um, whirlwind's just enough, right? 18, 27, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, the 12 HP from Black Blood, though, will help a lot here. Um... And is an attack. I mean, we can kind of facilitate that. Whenever a card exhausts, gain three block. That's also very good. Because we exhaust most of our deck. Let's go to the Fill No Pain. We don't have a um, strong block engine anyway. Fill No Pain. It is very conditional, but not the worst. I'm just going to go Bash here and gain some block. If only we had... Uh, Something else, like other ways to benefit from that. The exhausting of all the strikes here. Okay, keep that. Block for three. Um, ghostly armor whirlwind here. All right. Do some more block there. Yep, there we go. It's working out pretty well, on, at least on the first pass. Limit break is kind of a dead card here, um, which is unfortunate. Ghostly armor, not bad. Vulnerability, let's stack that. Oh, we can't stack it because I uh, don't have the ability to. All right, Twelve. okay, here's kind of our our hand as such. 12, we'll shrug here. I'm honestly going to actually thunderclap pretty good. I was gonna say limit break to get it out of our hand. Okay, get this out of here. Go ahead and do these two. Play that for the one strength. And then when we draw it, we can like subsequently gain some strength. And do this. How's that do? Down to 11. Still taking 14 here. I'll drink this. Should have drank it at the beginning if I was going to. Ow. Oh, black blood. Keep me alive. Pick up 29. Pommel, Iron Wave. Iron Wave could be good just to have some block that gains strength. I get. Hello, Sneko. Feel no pain. Blue to my opening hand. Alright. Get some of this out of here. I guess the advantage of an X-Cost card is we can play through um, Sneko pretty well. This is a Garbo hand. I'm just going to go for the pure damage here and let the Feel no pain, bring the block. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Like this hand is also terrible. I know we are, uh, Sneka is supposed to be a little bit of a hard encounter, but sometimes it's, it just hits you wrong. But this is pretty good. Um, then we'll just go whirlwind here. Oh, and it did kill him. I didn't realize we had that much strength. Explosive barrier, 12 block. Block is broken, deal 18 damage to the attacker. I kind of just like the high high damage uh, block card, or the high block card. Yeah, I like that. Not a lot of times that we fully block something. And I will gain the money. All right. The question is, do I just take stuff here or do I fight them? Into it, choose a, choose cardboard, choosing cardboard is going to a separate pile. You can move cards from that pile to your deck between combat. Interesting. Banana, very good. Um, Bloodletting's not bad. Or kind of what we're doing. And it's repeatable, so you could do it like a couple times in a turn. I like that, card removal's good. 
All these are pretty good. You know what? Let's go after the shopkeeper. Could be a bad move, but... But they're trying to run for me. Now. Stay. Ah, I have not done this in a while, so... I know it can be pretty tough. 200 HP, 35. Still no pain here. We do not have a lot of block. It might be our downside here. Alright. I feel like I can always smoke bomb out of it. I should drink this, actually. This should be what we have done. I should have done this first. Thorns. Oh, the regret here. Ooh, 12 block. Block here. Strike. Regret will help me a little bit, but this will hurt them a lot. Yeah, there we go. Chip away at them very slowly. Um, Iron Wave. I'm going to keep the ghostly armor here. Defend. Defend. I want to keep all the defensive cards, I think. Oh, hello. 40 damage here. Not really what I was expecting out of you. And I have no block. Unfortunate. Oh, and you can't. This is a uh, considered a boss fight. Huh. Well, is part of the course. I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah we're definitely dead. Job keeps tough. Not remembering um, uh, being so tough here. But it's a little introduction to coming back with the um, normal classes. I have to remember what's good and what's bad um but i'm going to wrap it up here because i would like to record another one a little bit of a shorty but hopefully it's still pretty fun for you guys um i hope you guys do enjoy if you do you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys next time bye guys